Hello love, my name is Christina and I'm a product photography coach teaching handmade sellers like you how to take their own product photos using a simple and inexpensive smartphone workflow. If you want to learn how to take your own high quality images, the best place to start is with the camera you already have. Maybe you are just starting out and looking to learn how to take your own product photos or maybe you haven't been getting the high quality results you were looking for from your smartphone. Your smartphone is an excellent choice and my suggestion is to always learn how to use what you have to the best of its ability before you make the assumption you need to upgrade. If you don't know how to get the best results out of the camera you already have, then you are most likely wasting money and time upgrading to a more expensive and complicated option. Let me know in the comments below what type of smartphone you have. Now, most smartphones on the market today are created pretty equal and have the capability of producing the results you need to create high quality images for your online shop, social media, and branded printed packaging inserts if you understand how to use them correctly. In this video, I'm going to go over three critical concepts you need to understand to be able to get the highest quality from your smartphone. Number one, a dirty lens will reduce the quality of your images. Always assume your lens is dirty. If you're handling your smartphone all day long, holding it, throwing it in your purse or your pocket, I can promise you there is either fingerprints, lint, or something from the bottom of your purse lingering on your lens. A dirty lens will make your images look washed out or blurry. Every time you go to shoot a product photo, you should be cleaning your lens. I prefer to use wipes made specifically for lenses. Just look at the difference in image quality from a dirty lens to a clean one. Get in the habit to clean your lens. Number two is not having enough light. Smartphones do not perform well under low light situations. Lucky for you, this concept really isn't relevant to product photography as you should be properly lighting your product photos to get the best results. If you have a proper light setup, then you won't experience the image quality reduction based on the smartphone overcompensating for insufficient light. Number three is image stabilization. Image stabilization is the silent killer of image quality because a lot of people don't understand how much influence it can have on the quality of an image. The slightest camera movement can significantly reduce your image quality and cause your product photos to look blurry and pixelated, especially when zooming in on the photo. Any slight movement from touching the screen to take the photo to literally breathing will cause camera shake. If you are not using a combination of a tripod and a Bluetooth shutter release, then you are not getting the highest possible image quality from your smartphone. Tripods come in all shapes, sizes, and prices. And if you're an iPhone user, you can use the Apple headphones volume button as a Bluetooth shutter release. And Samsung users can go into their camera settings and set voice control to on and say cheese, capture, or shoot to take a picture. You can also purchase a Bluetooth shutter release like this one on Amazon for about $10. If you want to produce sharp, professional looking, high quality product photos with your smartphone, start by implementing these three concepts today and you will begin to see results. If you want to learn more about getting the highest image quality from your smartphone, then click the link in the description below to download my 14 step guide to taking high quality product photos with your smartphone. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos.